Hi guys, my name is Parag Paul and welcome back in a new video of construction management using Microsoft project. So guys, in this particular video, we are going to discuss about the summary task. What is the meaning of summary task? How we can use it and what are their benefits? These are one of the main important parameters in overall Microsoft project. Now, why it is so important? Because whenever you are looking for the proper cost management, cost overrun, time overrun, this task will intimate you. Now, if you are your supervisor, okay, and you are working under it, your supervisor definitely wants to complete that particular task in limited time. Okay, so what he will do, he will plan a particular deadline. He will make sure that is, that this particular timeline I want to complete. If it is exceed, what are the extra days you are incurring? What is your alarming situation and how it is calculated? This is what defined by the summary task. So you can see in last video, we learn about how to add the milestone. Milestone is very important with respect to the summary task. If you don't know what is a milestone of particular activity, you are not in a position to identify the overall summary of the task. So make sure you first add the milestone. Okay, so now here we are, we already created one new tab over here. You can see I have prepared a normal functional plan to understand the summary task behavior. But before starting the video, guys, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like and share. Okay, so now you can see that particular foundation plan. This is a what the WBS. I can write a WBS over here because that is very important parameter when I'm when I'll be teaching you this all details. Okay, it is very essential to understand why WBS I have created. So you can see this is what the main WBS and under that the rest of the WBS are linked each other and that come under this foundation work. Now if I add a summary task, if I want to, if I want to assign any summary task, you need to assign a main WBS. Make sure you need to assign a main WBS because it will change your WBS name. So that is very important. If you assign a particular activity, what it will change the rest of the WBS work. Okay. And there itself. So that's why you need to select the main activity or a main WBS and click on the summary and make sure you need to create this particular task during your planning because it will not going to disturb your rest of the plan. Now here you need to provide the details. Okay. Just click here. Okay. It will new pop-up will generate. Just assign summary. Okay. S Q double M A R Y summary foundation task okay sorry fo right you can you can do rest of the work also you can assign predecessor and all these things but make sure don't add any predecessor and all these things because here we are not going to identify the linkages the pretty summary task itself consists of from starting to ending portion now whatever the start portion here just select that particular start portion and what will be the end portion select that end portion so when you click on the starting and ending you can see this particular line contain this particular task it means this particular task is in between starting from here ending will here if this particular task achieve it means you are online okay it means your project is properly executing right now what if this particular duration exceed okay so you can see here i'm increasing this marking making a marking of column i done properly okay centering center this all work i done properly but when i'm going to pcc work it extended from 20 instead of instead of completion of 29 it completed on 6th so click on this you can see this particular red color is alarming for you and how much duration exceeded that is also defined over here it means that this particular activity this particular summary task help you to identify how much you are exceeded okay what are the parameters okay why you are exceeded okay which particular task you are exceeded that also you can intimate with the help of this overall task okay you can see like this here this particular date from this particular time okay from Monday to this particular Monday, this much days you are exceeded. Okay, like this summary task help you to identify the 
ratio now you can see here also one important thing if you if you notice when i click on the start and finish date it will never change okay but make sure that this duration will constant as it is what what you place earlier okay so with the help of that you can identify the differences like you know, if i go to the calculator okay i select here 43 minus of 38 it means you are exceeded 5 days okay and this particular calendar consists saturday and sunday as a weekend it means 1 2 3 4 and 5 days you are exceeded your work so whatever cost for one single day you need to multiply by the 5 so you will get the cost overrun and 5 duration is your time duration okay so this is what the cost and time um, management okay you can do with the respect to the summary task okay so i hope guys you like this particular video try your own okay and make sure you will learn more thing from my channel have a nice day